Well, hello again. It is June 22nd and we are in the Old Testament, 1 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 1 through chapter 8, 40. And here we will read, Now the sons of Issachar were four, Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron. The sons of Tolu were Uz- Uzai, Rephaiah, Jeriel, Jamiah, Jemai, Ibsam, and Samuel, heads of their father's households. The sons of Tola were mighty men of valor in their generations. Their number in the days of David was 22,600. The son of Uz- Uzai was Israhiah. The sons of Israhiah were Michael, Obadiah, Joel, Ishiah. All five of them were chief men. With them by their generations, according to their father's household, were 36,000 troops of the army for war, for they had many wives and sons. Their relatives among all the families of Issachar were mighty men of valor, enrolled by genealogy in all 87,000. The sons of Benjamin were three, Bela and Bishir and Jediel. The sons of Bela were five, Esben, Uzai, Uziel, Jeremoth, and Iri. They were heads of their father's household, mighty men of valor, and were 22,034 enrolled by genealogy. The sons of Bishir were Zimra, Zimra, Joash, El, Eliezer, Elioniah, Nai, Amri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alameth. All these were the sons of Bishur. They were enrolled by genealogy according to their generations, heads of their father's household, 20,200 mighty men of valor. The sons of Jediel was Bilhan. And the sons of Bilhan were Jeush, Benjamin, Ehud, Chenaena, Zithan, Tarshish, and Ashish, Ahishar. <laughs> All these were sons of Jediel, according to the heads of their father's household, 17,200 mighty men of valor who were ready to go out with the army to war. Shupim and the Hupim were the sons of Ur. Hishim was the son of Eher. The sons of Nathali was, were Jaziel, Gunai, Jezer, and Shalom, the sons of Bilha. The sons of Manasseh were Azrael, whom his Aramean concubine bore. She bore Bashir, the father of Gilead. Bashir took a wife for Huptim and Shuppim, whose sister's name was Maeka, and the name of the second was Zelophehad. And Zelophehad had daughters, Maeka, the wife of Mashir bore a son, and she named him Peresh. And the name of his brother was Sheresh. And his sons were Ulam and Rakim. The son of Ulam was Badan. These were the sons of Gilead, the son of Mashir, the son of Manasseh. His sister Hamolesheth bore Ishhad. And Abiezer and Mala, the sons of Shimada, were Ahian and Shechem, and Lichim, Lichai, and Enaim. The sons of Ephraim were Shethila, Shuthela, and Bered, his son, Tehath, his son, Eliada, his son, Tehath, his son, Zadat, Zabad, his son, Shathela, his son, and Ezer and Eliad, whom the men of Gath, who of Gad, who were born in the land, killed, because they came down to their to take their livestock. Their father, Ephraim, mourned many days, and his relatives came to comfort him. Then he went in to his wife, and she conceived and bore a son, and he named him Beria. Because misfortune had come upon his house, his daughter was Shira, who built lower and upper Beth Horan, also Uzin, Shira, Repha, 
was his son along the along with Resheth. Tila his son, Tehan his son, Laden his son, Amahud his son, Elishama his son, Nun his son, and Joshua his son. These possessions and settlements were Bethel with its towns, and to the east Naaran, and to the west Gezer with its towns, and Shechem with its towns, as far as Aya with its towns, and along the borders of the sons of Manasseh, Bashian with its towns, Tenanak with its towns, Megiddo with its towns, Dor with its towns. In these lived the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel. The sons of Asher were Imna, Ishva, Ishvi, Arvai, and Beria, and Sarah, their sister. The sons of Beria were Eber and Malki, Malkiel, who was the father of Birzath. Heber became the father of Jephlet, Shomer, and Hotham, and Shua, his, their sister. The sons of Japhlet were Pash, Pasash, Bilham, and Ashvath. These were the sons of Japhlet. The sons of Shemer were Ahai, Roga, Jehubad, and Aram. The sons of his brothers, Helam, were Zopha, Imna, Shelesh, and Amal. The sons of Zopha were Shua, Harnifer, Shual, Berai, and Imra. Bezer, Hod, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Bera. The sons of Jether were Jephana, Pispa, and Ara. The sons of Ula were Ara, Heniel, and Izia. All these were the sons of Asher, heads of the fathers, their fathers' houses, Choice and mighty men of valor, heads of the princes, and the number of them enrolled by genealogy for service in war was 26,000 men. Chapter 8. And Benjamin became the father of Bela, his firstborn, Ashbel the second, Ahara the third, Noha the fourth, and Repha the fifth. Bela had sons, Ader, Gera, Abahud, Abishua, Naam, and Ahoa, Gera, Shephuhan and Hiram. These are the sons of Ehud. These are the heads of the fathers, fa- fathers' households of the inhabitants of Geva, and they carried them into exile to Manahath. Namely, Naaman, Ahijah, and Gera. He carried them into exile, and he became the father of Uzzah and Ahuhud. Shaharim became the father of children in the country of Moab after he had sent away Husham and Bera, his wife. By Hodash, his wife, he became the father of Jobab, Zibia, Mesha, Malcam, Jeuz, Sashia, Mirma. These were the, his sons, heads of the father's household, but Hisham, he became the father of Abitub and Elpael. The sons of Elpael, were Eber, Mish, Misham, and Shemed, who built Ono and Lod with its towns, and Beria and Shema, who were heads of fathers, households of the inhabitants of Aijilan, who put to flight the inhabitants of Gath, and Ahio, Shashak, and Mera, Zebadiah, Arad, Eder, Michael, Ishba, and Joha were the sons of Beria. Zebediah, Meshulam, Hizkai, Eber, Ishmerai, Isaiah, Isaiah, and Jobab were the sons of Elpael. Jacob, Zerai, Zedad, Zabdi, Elienai, Zeliathai, Eliel, Abadiah, Ab- Adadiah, Beriah, and Shimrab were the sons of Shimei. Ishpan, Eber, Eliel, Abdon, Zikri, Hanan, Hananiah, Elam, Anathijah, Ifdaiah, and Penuel were the sons of Sheshak. Shishariah, Shamshariah, Shishariah, Aphtaliah, Jeresiah, Elijah, Elijah, and Zikri were the sons of Jerohim. 
These were heads of the father's household, according to their generations, chief men who lived in Jerusalem. Now in Gibeon, G-I-L, the father of Gibeon, lived with his wife, and his wife's name was Maacah. And his firstborn son was Abdon, then Zer, Kish, Baal, Nadab, Geter, Ahio, and Zechar. Mikloth became the father of Shemiah. And they who also lived in their, with their relatives in Jerusalem, opposite their other relatives. Ner became the father of Kish, and Kish became the father of Saul, and Saul became the father of Jonathan, Malchai, Shua, Abed, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. The son of Jonathan was Merabael, and Merabael became the father of Micah. The son of Micah was Pithon, Melesh, Teria, and Ahaz. Ahaz became the father of Jeho Jehoiada, and Jehoiada became the father of Elameth, Asmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri became the father of Moza, and Moza became the father of Benia, Raphaiah was his son, Elisa, Eliasa, his son, Azel, his son, Azel, had six sons, and these were their names, Azrakim, Bosheru, Ishmael, Shereia, Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. The sons of Eshek, his brother, were Ulam, his firstborn, Jeush the second, and Eliphelet the third. The sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons and grandsons, a hundred and fifty of them. All these were the sons of of Benjamin. All right. And, and I know these are a lot of names and, and some of them may not play any major role in the rest of the scriptures before or after, um, this chapter, but, um, uh, God wanted us to be able to read these names and also some of these people, even some of the names are just are happenstance of some of the other name, more prominent names in the scriptures. But some of these people, some of these names are tied to some historical events as we read through the scriptures before this and after this, so on and so forth. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there because, you know, it's a lot and I understand. All right. So let's go on to Psalm 77, verse four through nine. You have held my eyelids open. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of, of long ago. I will remember my song in the night. I will meditate with my heart and my spirit ponders. With the, will the Lord reject forever and will he never be favorable, favorable again? Has his loving kindness ceased forever? Has his promise come to an end forever? Has God forgotten to be gracious or has he in anger withdrawn his compassion? And then quickly on the Proverbs 19, verse 13 through 14. Here it reads, a foolish son is destruction to his father. And the contentions of a wife are a constant dripping. House and wealth are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Amen to that. All right. That is the end of June 22nd. Thank you. God bless. Hope to see you soon.